Okay, let's start by building our own phantom that uh, needs to be, uh, up, uh, we need to approximate somehow the same phantom with different discretizations. So we should have the idea of uh, mm, our own phantom ah, defined in the square So we think that the geometric domain of our phantom is the same all the time, regardless of how finely we pixelize it. Uh, and let's put in of a few, let's put in a few few rectangles. So let's, anyway, this is a function, so, so the result equals, let's call it, uh, I don't know, square, square phantom, and as an argument, let's take, let's take, uh, what should we call it, m. So that it will be an M by M uh, image we get. So here, let's put, put as an argument M, uh, the final final image will have size M times M, and returns um, this up. Uh, Pixel image which is uh, a discrete model uh, of a non negative So the idea is that uh, in, in most of the area it has value zero, and then we'll have a couple of rectangles where it has a different value than zero. Um, oh. Oh, oh, all the time some mistakes. But anyway, let's initialize as zero. So the result uh, will be zeros of si size m by m. Oh, let's save it. Square phantom and here. Let's first just make a try. Let's let's. Uh, or actually we need to we need to construct uh, evaluation points construct m by m evaluation points inside the square inside the unit square so let's see mm. These should be the center points of pixels. And there are m pixels. Um, the width of one pixel will be... Uh, so pixel width will be 1 over m, I think. And then we need the, the x and y coordinates of the center points of pixels. So let me put a 
make a temporary vector where we have a pixel width divided by 2. That would be the, let's say, x coordinate of the center of the first pixel. Uh, then we need we need uh, 0 to m minus 1 times pixel width. What do you think? Should this be the, let's say, x coordinates of the center points of our pixels? I think there are m pixels, so we need m numbers. That's what there is. And it starts with half a pixel width, and then it goes by steps of one pixel width until it's almost one. Then we need, of course, x and y coordinates. I will use uh, I will use the MATLAB command meshgrid, one of my favorite commands. Meshgrid temp. Now, uh, I fear I have lost some of you. Let's just quickly see uh, how this thing looks like. Uh, if, we just, if we just take uh, m equals, let's say, 4, and <coughs> let's run these. like this and see what happens. Well, temp is now these numbers, so going almost to 1. And what is x and y? If you haven't used mesh grid before, here you see how it works. For the x coordinate, it gives a matrix of the size. You see it's a 4 by 4 matrix, as our image has the size 4 by 4. And this just gives the x coordinate of the center of each pixel. And the y similarly varies vertically and is constant horizontally. So these are the x and y coordinates in our image. Uh, well, the y coordinates, they are kind of getting bigger when you go down, which is maybe a bit strange. That's a MATLAB convention anyway. So. Now, if we want to build a rectangle, I would go like this. I would say index, the first index would be when, uh, let's say, x is bigger than one quarter and x is smaller than one half and y is bigger than one quarter and uh, y is smaller than half. For example, like this. And then our result, which so far consists only zeros. Now we put here, let's say, value 1. And let's now take a look how our phantom looks like. Namely, let's make a new, new file. Uh, ah. Take a look at the phantom. Mm. Let's say m equals 32 and then our image is square phantom m and then let's take a look how it how it looks like and let's put actually 